but we're very excited because we we have quite a show for you tonight. Tonight, actually, we have a lot of gaming news. Surprisingly, um, we've got some good old stories ranging from PlayStation news, uh, some Call of Duty news, of course, because that's the big thing, and uh, a bunch of other good stuff. I'm very excited to see uh, what ends up happening. We, of course. Had a charity stream this uh, this past week, which was really well. Last week, <laughs> I think it's good. Good. I don't know what the hell happened. No worries. I, I'm literally with a screwdriver over here on this <laughs> on the tripod. It's okay. It's the benefit um, of being on location. That's exactly what this is. I mean, we're doing a, a shoot, shoot shoot from home, a show from yeah. home. A shoo shoo shoo. A shoo shoo. Wait, In fact, wait, hold, up. hold up. Audio's oh. doubled. They're saying audio's doubled. Audio's doubled. All right. All right. right why is up. audio doubled? Ah. Hmm. Cam link. Sorry. Family issue. Yeah. Sorry. In any case, I was going to show you guys my wonderful get up here with <laughs> my pants and in my socks. I'm very comfortable. Should be good. Um, but all that to say, we had a charity stream last week. This is, of course, a game, a show called Last Week in Gaming. And uh, we're excited to show you a clip from that and also show you some of the, um, the charity and how well it did and, of course, kind of the organizations that we help support. Uh, it's like... Um... You kind of like fold forward if you lean back a bit. All right. Is that better? Yeah, it's kind of like just right here. Okay. I don't know. I, I can try to figure it out. We All had right. to do a rebuild, guys. So. We had to rebuild everything from scratch, uh, given that last week, of course, we had some issues with that. But we're back here. Let's get on with the show. I want to see what you guys are saying in chat. Uh, I hope you guys saw all our talk about who our guest is tonight. We, of course, have Atomic Marie, and I hope I'm pronouncing her last name right. I know some people were very specific about that. <laughs> and, uh, or it's Mari or something like that. In any case, she's going to be our guest. She's going to come in on the show uh, via video conference call. Kyle, I really want to I think we're good. Okay. It's tough because sometimes it slowly starts slowly tilting. tilting. I yeah. think we're good. We're using, uh, you know, our at-home equipment, so... Things happen, cool. um, but I would love to hear anybody in chat what you guys are saying. I appreciate you guys again tuning in. We'll uh, start with our main stories for the day. We luckily have some good news from Sony, kind of. Uh, you know, Sony's been hard at work right now trying to get people to, you know, support as many people so that they can play as many games as possible. Of course, Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. I played it. I loved it. Um, I've, I'm not completely finished the game. I'm maybe like a quarter of the way through. It's a long game. It's like 40 hours we're talking. For the first part? For, no, for Final Fantasy VII Remake total, like oh, in terms yeah. of story. They broke it don't, into parts though, Yeah, right? don't, remember, don't forget there's part two coming at the end of the year. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so that's going to be happening. But you guys already know that. Um, so I'm going to set up to get ready on the main stories, folks. Kyle's ready. I believe, is, yeah. with our cut to screens. Actually, I don't know if I need this right now. You don't need that We're right now. We're waiting on a Tom McGree who's going to be joining us very shortly. Uh, but yeah, good guy Sony. That's right. Uh, they're going to help PlayStation 4 peeps with a little something called Play at Home. That's what they've been working on. Basically, we can all download Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Amazing. And Journey. Amazing. For free. Uh, starting April 15th, which is in two days from now. Wait, tomorrow. tomorrow. We're the 14th. Also known as tomorrow. There you go. Evan had me. He he, he made sure I was uh, good on that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's going through May 5th. Man, it's been a minute since I had the feels of Journey. It's definitely a game that if you do play it, give all your attention to it. Don't be messing around on your phone. It's a whole experience on its own. I cannot talk enough good about that game. It's so much, so much fun and it's a game that you'll play through it relatively quickly and I think the experience in and of itself is one that every gamer should have because it's so different from other games. Anyways, I've never played I don't it. want to go into detail while well, you should. Yeah. Maybe we'll play through it sometime. Maybe. Because you play it with other people. Oh really? Yeah. Um, but it's an experience and it's uh, I think every gamer should like see what that thing's about. Anyways, I won't spoil what it is. Go check it out. Um, but right now it seems like the perfect time to revisit it if you haven't yet or if you want to go back like Kyle for example. Oh, and that's not all. Sony is also planning to spread around $10 million to indie developers to assist uh, them during this pandemic. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but you know, like in the kind of rad way. It's pretty sick in the rad way, not yeah. like sick in the bad way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's cool that they're helping support. Like I was saying, they're doing a lot to support people during uh, this crazy time. And Sony's uh, stepping up to the plate. We'll see what uh, Microsoft comes to if they do anything. But uh, there's nothing quite like vacationing in the Spanish countryside. Well, 
that is, until villagers start throwing axes at your head. Leon Kennedy just can't catch a break. Nope, he can't. You see, VideoGameChronicle.com reports will be revisiting Leon's European trip in a Resident Evil 4 remake scheduled to release in 2022. It's a game that's been ported and remastered more times than I can count, but RE4 hasn't ever gotten a proper remake. This makes sense, though, considering the success of RE2 and RE3 remakes. Both played both of them, thought they were great, plus RE4 is... Um, Seen by many as the best in the franchise. Really? So, yeah, Didn't yeah, according to Evan and according to our research. Yeah. So, this could be bigger than the troll boss you fight in the game. So, be sure to check it out. But I'm loving that they're making all these remakes. Yeah, I'll take remakes. Love it. We were just, uh, we actually went back to play a little bit, a very little bit, Fable, Fable 2, because yeah. it was available on Xbox Game Pass. Everyone should play that game. Um, but it is a little dated. And I was yeah. thinking just how great, while you were playing it, how great it'd be to go back and remake at least Fable 2 and Fable 3. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the first one is the one that people were, you know, it was the most popular version of yeah. yes. that game. But 2 and 3 were the ones I played a ton, and I would love to see a remake of, what What the heck, Make remake the whole, you know, trilogy if you have to. You, I don't know what it's going to take, because I think the company that made it full yeah. of it. But, you know. Someone would have to just buy the IP. Yeah, I'd love to know in chat actually if you guys have any remake dreams. What is a game you would love to have remade, given that we're in this kind of time frame in, in gaming where remakes are, met, there there are plenty. There are many of remakes happening. Final Fantasy VII remake. We have RE2 and RE3 just recently, and RE4 just gotten out. So what's a game that you'd love to see remade? Let me know in chat. Any anyone in chat? Uh, more than 50 million people have been punched, shot, and a helicopter chopped to death and. Warzone. That is true. And it's only taken the Battle Royale game about a month to reach that ridiculous milestone. In this age of quarantine, I guess you could say there aren't many alternatives like hanging out with friends, going to see a movie, or giving every puppy dog a good scratch at your local dive bar. But there are obviously so many game options these days, so it's still super impressive seeing Warzone strike such a chord with people out there. Um, if you've played, let me know how many wins you've gotten so far in the comments. I have no comments on how many wins I've gotten. Basically, the number is zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I didn't have a comment on that. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't hang with Smelly Ellie because of social distancing. In other words, The Last of Us 2, as we all know, is delayed from May 29th for an unknown amount of time. Naughty Dog put out a statement on Twitter, this of course was last week or so, given that, you know, we skipped a week. Uh, the good news is we're nearly done with development of The Last of Us Part Two. However, even with us finishing the game, we were faced with the reality that due to logistics beyond our control, we couldn't launch The Last of Us Part Two uh, to our satisfaction. We want to make sure everyone gets to play The Last of Us Part Two around the same time, ensuring that we're doing everything possible to preserve the best experience for everyone. This meant delaying the game until such a time where we can solve these logistic issues. This makes me think we're going to see plenty more big name games get pushed back over the coming months due to COVID-19's pandemic, uh, unless they're digital only affairs. So I'm crossing my fingers, Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't get delayed. So far, all the messaging that we've gotten from CD Projekt Red is positive, so I wouldn't worry too much. But even then, the developers working from home, you know, it's obviously going to have an impact on those folks in many different ways. There's too many barrels to count for, so you can't really, sorry, you Ooh. can't really plan for the unexpected. That said, I'm hopeful that CD's got it handled, but you yeah. never know. Colin Campbell's in chat. Colin Campbell? Yeah. That's crazy. Colin, Hi. Well, we do miss you. Yeah. We definitely do miss yeah. uh, Erwin and Colin. Yeah. Huh. It's okay. It's all right. Maybe someday we'll be back in the studio. Someday. 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 Yeah. Uh, the Gats Out of the Bag has Saints Row the third remastered has been officially announced. See? Remake, re remakes, remasters, they're everywhere. Um, anyways, we'll finally get to hang out, or once again get to hang out, with Johnny Gat and Shandi again May 22nd. This time looking better than ever thanks to spruced up visuals. Seriously, the reveal trailer looks actually pretty dang good. Um, so color being pressed so far, though I'm not sure I'm ready to see the Ding Dong Bats in better clarity. That's uh, I could do, you know, without that. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let me know if you plan on picking up Saints Row the Third for a second or even third time in the comments. I'd love to know. For me, 
I got a ton of playthrough in that game. I don't know if I need to go back to it, but if it looks good, maybe. I wouldn't mind a remake, actually. I wonder if they'd ever do that. Saints Row. Instead Have you ever of, played a Saints Row games? Yeah. Uh, no. I didn't play many of them at all. They're good. Yeah, I've heard they're, they're really so good. wonky. Super, and they're totally your sense of humor. Super slapstick, right? Very slapstick. Yeah. Um, all right. Two Overwatch pros have been poked with fines after joking about large phalluses. PG-13. <clears throat> uh, in what ended up being a public chat seen by viewers, uh, the loadout reports LA Valiant player Jung Wan, last row month, and San Francisco Shock's Dunjun Rascal Kim received $1,000 fines for typing big D word into a chat seen by the Overwatch League audience. Both apparently didn't know that the chat was visible, so you might say they were caught with their pants down. Ha ha ha. Uh, there was a joke there. <laughs> I had to explain it. Uh, but in any case, uh, it just seems like $1,000 is fair given that they apparently didn't know. Yeah, I think I think it's actually too little. <laughs> you think just, it's too little? Well, because you got to think of like from a sponsorship point of view. Imagine you're like, Hey, a ton of money. You're paying tens of Forget millions it. or however much they're paying yeah. for their sponsorships with the Overwatch League just for some kid to be like, big dick, in chat. And it's on, I'm pretty sure it's on ESPN right now. So, uh, Do we consider the D word a swear word? No, I'm you talking about Richard. Have... Richard. That's my nickname for oh, Richard. Richard. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I guess that's true. I guess I that counts. We're Good. at home. Good argument. Yeah. You beat that one. We're at home. Doesn't, doesn't mean your wallet's not nearby. No, no. You might no. need to pay up. All right. We knew uh, this is actually our last story for the day yeah but anyways e3 we knew all wasn't going to happen and it's super bummer but now pc gamers are saying that the floated digital event won't occur either so what? there was talks before really? that e3 would go full digital understandably so yeah um but yeah the entertainment software association confirmed uh to the website that the planned e3 online experience has been canceled too so i don't know if it's a a logistics thing or what the reason was really behind it but it looks like there's other people who are coming into uh wanting to do some sort of content during the e3 summer time frame uh i know that jeff keely's doing something with steam uh they're doing like a games event where people can actually tune in to play demos so they can log into steam and play their the demos that would normally be live at e3 from what i understand uh, and be able to play the games from the comfort of their own home. So things like that are happening, meaning there won't be nothing for E3, but definitely not anything official from our folks uh, who plan E3 usually every year. Meanwhile, IGN has pulled back the curtain, there you go, for example, on a summer of gaming event, uh, gaming event singular, for June, they're partnering with 2K, Square Enix, Sega, and more. Those are some big developers. Um, you know, we always hear about E3, dying, but I wonder if this might actually mark the end for the annual gaming event. We'll have to chat about that a little later as we go to our discussion portion. For now, enjoy a playthrough of a remake! I played Resident Evil 3 Remake. Here's a little clip of what took place during that um, playthrough. I gotta say, love the game, but I don't know if I can handle the gore anymore. I was grossed out pretty much the whole time. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I was like, ugh, because there was bugs and gooey stuff. But I had a fun time anyways. Sometimes you just gotta get scared and grossed out. And that's what Resident Evil 3 definitely succeeds in doing. Uh, check out my playthrough and we'll be right back. Bye guys. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my- Any comments? Ah! I like that he uh, dressed up in his uh, garbage bag tour, the garbage invader. <laughs> I'd say that that's an appropriate title for him. Oh my God. I thought it, no, <laughs> this isn't supposed to happen. Oh shoot, okay, wait, that was my opportunity to dodge. No. <laughs> oh shoot, uh, you're gross, get off me. Oh, what? Where is this guy? Shot him in the butt. Ah, oh, freaking frick. I can't do it. Ah, there's two of them. No, kill it with fire, god damn it. I have one more bullet. What? Oh my god, there's too many! There's no way I've got this! Oh my god, where's my freaking? Oh! <laughs> Just head on over to the subway office. We'll be golden! But no. Oh cool, he just straight up punched me, no big deal. Oh, he's so scary, I hate this guy! He's too big. Just in time for everything to go to the... <laughs> out my way, <laughs> Sorry for the language, guys. Get out of my way. <laughs> I don't have time for you! No! Oh, not this guy! How am I screwed? What? How 
am I supposed to survive that? Come on. Please work a little faster. She's totally terrible at her job. What kind of creatures are gonna live in here? Well, that's nice. <laughs> what the heck is that, a dinosaur? Are there two? Yeah, I'm really dead. Can never catch a break. You gotta get out of there right now! All right, let me grab my- ah! I like that he uh, dressed up in his uh, garbage bag tour. The garbage nader. <laughs> I'd say that that's an appropriate title for him. Oh my god! I thought I- No! <laughs> This isn't supposed to happen. Oh, shoot. Okay, wait, that was my opportunity to dodge. No. Oh, shoot. Uh, you're gross. Get off me. Oh, what? Where is this guy? Shot him in the butt. Ah! Stop. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... I like that he uh, dressed up in his uh, garbage bag tour. The garbage invader. <laughs> I'd say that that's an appropriate title for him. Oh my god! I thought it. No! <laughs> this isn't supposed to happen. Oh, oh shoot! On. Okay, wait, that We're was my opportunity to die. Sorry about that. We I think we replayed the same episode. We started replaying, so we just. Uh... <laughs> Whatever, more RA3 is never a bad thing. Uh, all right, guys, so I want to see what you guys are saying in the chat. Of course, this is our discussion portion. Uh, I really just wanted to get out of the way the fact that we did a really cool thing, not last week, but the week prior? Or yeah. was it last week? Days blur together. You're this gonna do is your discussion, course. right? Yeah. Okay, let me switch scenes. Hold okay. On. Okay, we're good. Carry on. <laughs> You're all good. Uh, looks like here, a deja vu mastermind said, "Yep." Yeah. We picked up on that. We're sorry. Yeah, I because it was looping. <laughs> it was looping. Uh, the game does look good, actually. RE3 is a lot of fun. It yeah. plays super. It plays like a new game. Yeah. So if if you never got introduced to the Resident Evil Three or Resident Evil franchise as a whole, now's a good time to play the remakes because they really are up to date on what. You see graphically, visually, it's all it's all really good. Yeah. So Nemesis is crazy persistent. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Well, I wanted to talk about this charity stream that we did. Yeah. Uh, so it benefited a bunch of really cool uh, foundations. We did it in cohesion with um, Jacksepticeye, who you yeah. guys might know is a huge YouTuber. He reached out to me personally. Ooh, uh, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. Uh, wanted me to join in. Do you want that? Yeah. I'm just looking at people. comments. Yeah. Um, I really wanted to, first of all, thank Jacksepticeye for, for that. Because I really haven't done much in terms of, like, live streaming, doing any sort of production for charity. And this was kind of the first time I did it. And it was a lot of fun. And we actually ended up raising $3,000. What? Yes. Um, it's very cool. The charity uh, overall, it was a whole initiative. Um, I mean, some celebrities uh, were part of this. They, I remember seeing... Hey, you just mentioned you were part of it. I know. I was part <laughs> of it. I know. You're so sweet. Uh, but no, like Russell Brand helped with this. It was called Hope From Home. And uh, we just, there's so many people on board raising money throughout the day. It ended up reaching about $1.7 million overall. Wow. Wow. It benefited foundations like United Way, Red Nose Day USA, uh, WHO Foundation, um, UN Foundation. There were so many. And uh, we helped, we helped our little, helped uh, quite a bit with $3,000. So yeah, congratulations. The cool thing was uh, I did a whole maybe three hour stream. I think it was almost four hours. Yeah. Did a bunch of stuff, did some face painting where I face painted my face to look like a puppy. Although some people says it looks like Kiss, which I totally agree. You're going to see a little clip right now of when I received the biggest donation of the day from um, one of my community members, Steven Insler. So I want you guys to look at the clip, just check it out. It was uh, pretty cool. So here it is. Ready? And... Oh wow, donation of $2,000? You're kidding. What? Get the frick out of here. Steven Insler? Holy cow. What? Uh, that is insane. What the frick? Wow. Yay, so that was... <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. I yeah. couldn't really... I don't know. I'm going to send him a care package because he definitely yeah. uh, helped us reach our goal. It was literally at the last second. I was about to clo close off the stream and uh, drop that big yeah, you were so 2K sum. 
I was so happy. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, I did something today. That's awesome, and the donation was cool too, lol, our run says. Thanks, mm -hmm. dude. And G-Dude also uh, showing some love and saying that he was a part of it. Yeah. I appreciate that, G-Dude. So, uh, other thing on the news side of things that, of course, happened a while ago, but we wanted to mention here just so you guys could be in the know and kind of we could share our thoughts on what we think. Um, Microsoft revealed their upcoming Xbox Series X controller. Don't you mean PlayStation? I meant PlayStation. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You know what it was? It's the shape of it. Yeah, it looks like an Xbox controller. It looks controller. like an Xbox controllers. So okay. I thought, oh my god, Xbox. But yeah, PlayStation is what I meant. Uh, so they revealed their controller. Check it out right now. This is the version they've re revealed. It's a it's white for one, which is so different. Yeah. It looks it's a completely different shape. I mean, for since PlayStation 1, the controllers pretty much look the same. Yeah. Uh, now they're taking again, like I said, a bit of an Xbox approach yeah. in that it's a much wider controller. Um, and it has similar functions. It still doesn't have the angled uh, are three buttons uh offset. toggles yeah, yeah the offset toggle toggles so i feel like that is the thing that people were really hoping for this time around we didn't get it um but yeah you should check out also there's a black version which well, was that... shared but it's photoshopped it's Photoshop. it wasn't officially released and i think it was confirmed that there will be a black version yeah. like that but this is kind of likely what it will look like yeah um but yeah it's crazy how um they completely pivoted from how they normally do. I saw <laughs> that. Um, they completely pivoted from their usual approach, which I like. I'm glad that they're doing something different. The Xbox controller is just better. It just is. Yeah. Like So that the fact that they're going towards that shape is Makes really, a, yeah. It's a pretty poignant statement. Yeah. yeah. There's parts of a PlayStation controller that are really good. You know, yeah. like D-pad can be spoken for, things like that. Yeah. The trigger, like, not the triggers. I like the Xbox more. I think the main complaint from some people was that it's going to have an integrated microphone yeah i don't like that which uh somebody pointed out one of our friends on twitter was like he made a video saying hey it's awesome that they're trying to innovate here but the microphone will probably only pick up yeah, click, click, and click, click, nothing yeah. else yeah because what else are you going to hear a microphone's going to pick up uh, all the yeah. button mashing and that's one of the critiques we don't know if they accounted for that if that's something maybe that you won't hear somehow yeah um but it was very interesting that they did that Hey, Prince uh, Leo, who said he just logged in. Um, so, yeah, so definitely, and actually, Kasun says more colors need to come out. Yeah, I, there I will occur. be. I think there definitely will be. Um, but, yeah, those were the new controllers that were released or announced, rather. Um, what else did I want to talk about today? There's a lot oh, of stuff. I was thinking we could talk about uh, remakes. So was there anyone in chat who had a dream, a game they would love remade? Something that they maybe played in their childhood that just needs a graphical update of some kind. Maybe it needs to be remastered. I think remakes generally are more interesting to me. Yeah, it's a like completely, Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII took a completely different direction. It's yeah. so different yeah, it's from the surprised. original. Uh, if you do a little research, you'll see how drastically different they took it. Um, yeah. Let's hope for better battery life. Actually, about the controller, yeah. Better battery life. Yeah, mm -hmm. agreed. Uh, did I miss Animal Crossing co coverage? I was too busy playing to see the story. No, but we are gonna go bank, uh, jump into Fran Mirabella's and get a bunch of. That's right. Our friend Fran just tweeted that his current turnip price that we can go to his island if we wanted to. Hopefully, he'll befriend us and want us to join him, or just give us that dodo code. Uh, is yeah, five hundred per turnip. Yeah, that's really good. I am down. I've yeah. been I've been dying because my worst fear is for those turnips to go rotten. They did on you. They did. Yeah. And it happened, and I was really sad. You were. I was having a rough time that day. You were having but a bad luckily, day too. Yeah. I was having a rough day, but luckily, uh, one of my friends, who's I guess East Coast, uh, no, ahead of us in terms of time. Yeah. Still had an hour or two, or maybe she like time traveled. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Had still two hours or an hour of uh, turnip her line? store being yeah her yeah. turnip lady still being around. So I was like. Oh, I, I almost missed the cuff. Yeah. You know, getting on, yeah. buying some turnips. And I was like, no, I missed. It was like past 12 o'clock. And I was like, I don't, couldn't buy turnips. And my turnips went bad that I had. And I couldn't sell them. And, <laughs> but then she came and saved the day. Yeah. yeah I, I love that game. For me, I don't know about what I would want remastered um, or remastered. 
remade. Mm. I would very much love to see the original Bioshock remade in terms of, uh, sorry, remastered. I don't think they need to change anything about the story. The game is amazing. Yeah. It's actually one of the first games where I legitimately got jump scared. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, but it's a, it's a really dark era game. I don't think they need to, like you said, it's first person, so I feel yeah. like there's nothing that won't fit within the context of what games are like nowadays. Yeah. Whereas Final Fantasy VII was so, like, set for that time. In terms of the gameplay, because you're playing in a mini character mm. and, and like a fast world, it's yeah. like a bit. It's kind of top down. Yeah. Um, but now they've taken in a direction where it's like you're playing third person, and I, it's a lot better. I think a lot of what we're going to find out in these games, uh, if it's just re, it's just remasters, is that the user interface is horrible. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah I, like we were playing Fable, I was like, wow, this is garbage. Yeah, this is it's just not, not good. This user interface is really bad. And when you're playing the character in Fable Three too, it's very floaty. Yeah. Like, it's hard to keep track of what's going on yeah, around exactly. the world. But at the time, it was super innovative. But it's definitely need, a, need of an upgrade. 